Hey guys, it's Gino here, and I'm bringing you guys a commentary on Call of Duty Ghosts, and today I'm going to be talking about the factor of me bringing back Toxic if I ever bring back Toxic, because a lot of you guys have been asking me, um, am I going to bring back Toxic, um, what happened to the recruitment challenge, um, just things as such, and where I've been, and what I've been doing. Uh, I've been working, I was working a lot, and I still am, but I really want to focus on my personal channel now, because I think I have enough time to be able to do that, and I'm really trying to emphasize on posting daily, and I really love making commentaries, and um, the clan scene is mainly just making montages, which, I love montages, but not everyone does, and I just like being able to do commentaries and getting gameplays and such and trying to entertain you guys and doing my own thing on my own personal channel and playing the games I want to play that hopefully you guys enjoy. And um, YouTube has always been, for me, I've always been on the team channel and I've always wanted to do like my own channel and I haven't been able to do that and just being leading a team has not been able to let me be my own self and make my own YouTube videos. But Toxic may come back one day. Like, I don't even know. Like, who knows? It could be back tomorrow. Like, it's it's not going to... It's not going to probably anytime soon. But, you know, I would love to have the team back. I really would. But I want to not just have normal players, a daily average Joe that don't try, because um, most people that are in teams really don't try and put a lot of effort into being in that team and being thankful for being in that team. Once they get in, they're like, oh, I'm in, you know, I'm not going to get kicked out because then the team gets hate and blah, blah, blah. But I want team members that are dedicated to the team, and maybe I'll find them along the way of being solo, and maybe they'll want to start up the team with me, and maybe I can find other commentators and such that want to do the same thing, and other snipers that want to do the same thing as I want to do. And, um, you know, if you want me to join your team or something, I'm really not looking for a team right now. I'm just looking to be on my own and upload my own kind of videos and do my own thing. And I love sniping, and that will always be key to my channel, but I also want to do other things with my channel besides just sniping. Because I want to be a sniper, I want to be a gamer, and I want to be a skater. <laughs> so, um, but I'm also going to be doing editing tutorials and so much other stuff that I really want to do. Um, I'm really emphasizing on doing daily videos, as I said. But when Toxic does come back, I'll make sure to assure everyone that it is back, and um, that will probably be announced on my channel and the clan channel, of course. And um, But more likely, it's not going to. Um, if it does, you know, that would be great, but I really want to focus on my own personal channel um, for a long time, you know, at least a year or so, um, because that, I've spent a lot of time on just the team, and I would love to... Um, do videos on my own channel like every day because that's what I think would be most beneficial for me and I know that sounds kind of greedy and everything but I couldn't let anyone else lead Toxic um, like I said I was the overall leader and the co-leaders that we had were um, not as active as I wanted them to be. I didn't have anyone that I trusted with the channel because of all the things that happened in the past. I would have loved to give the channel to someone, but I didn't know who to give it to. There was no one that I trusted enough to give the channel to, and I knew they would do well with it. I know it's not doing well just sitting there and doing nothing, but it's better than losing the channel completely and someone deleting it over hatred. Um, which will never happen because I I like to protect that channel, and um, you know, that was two years of my work, and I didn't want to just give it away to anyone, and, but I want to be able to have my own work and my own channel, which I hope to provide to you guys, and do awesome videos that you guys enjoy, and um, you know, I'll be doing a lot of different kinds of videos, I'm not that good of a trick shotter, but maybe you guys can see me progress over the time, I love feeding, and that's what I've always been doing since I started, I got into trick shotting when Around Black Ops 2 came out. But, um, I started pretty much in MW3, it was like when I really came into sniping. Um, I started a little bit in MW2 and BO1, but it was mainly MW3 that got me started into, um, sniping. And, uh, Daniel Cross and, uh, Jev have both inspired me to do videos. And, um, I emphasize on those two people a lot because, um, I've been watching Cross since he started, and since Jeb since he started, um, before anyone even knew about Jeb, and, um, 
it was pretty crazy to see him get into phase and everything. Um, congrats for him, and that's awesome. Glad to see his channel grow. I always knew it would. And, um, you know, I just hope that I can be able to maybe be successful as that one day. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy all of my commentaries, even the ones where I just ramble on like this. But, anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like for the video tomorrow. Alright, this is Gino. I'm out. Peace, guys. Oh, my God.